nice to meet you. Very small, lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> to be fair, anything's better than all shit. I was really hoping for a date with a girl, and she is so cute. What do you do for work? So I breed horses. No way. Yeah. I don't know if you know any horsey lingo whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, I do. Saddle up, sugar cube. I'm hung like a Shetland. I've got so many horsey stories to tell you. It's so bad. <laughs> I never would have had you pinned down as a horsey girl. Absolutely. But the thing cool. is, I'm not. So I went horse riding. I was like, oh, so can you canter? I was like, I was holding on to the saddle. I was like, I was like, in your own time, you can let go of the saddle. I was like, I don't want to let go. <laughs> cool whole story. Would you ride again, do you think? Would you go riding? Like... It seems like you're a pro. If you were going to teach me, I'll do it. Oh, she's warming to her then. You'd have to be a bit brave because we've got stallions to ride. <laughs> stallions, oh my god. <laughs> so far, so good. But I've got to keep in mind what the agent said. I need to keep being warm and not be an ice queen. I've got the pony just for you. He is, he is a granddaddy, but um, he is covering at the minute, so it's like, he's, you know, covering mares. Covering mares? With what? It's just like top shagger on the yard at the oh, minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when was your last relationship? Like three months ago now. It was supposed to like take me to my sister's wedding and two days before like broke up with me. Obviously, I know you're with wise, but like, it was that like, you know, mutual, just wasn't feeling it, so. No, basically, I feel like he tried to like, have his cake and eat it, like he wanted to have me there and date me, but also, he's living the life of like. Totally get you, yeah. The budget version of Chris Brown, like his, <laughs> his loving life. That's nothing, Ian Sterling has to make do with being a budget version of Rob Beckett. B.O. Beef starts now. Shots fired. So have you ever, like, seen a girl or been with a girl before? Or... I haven't actually, like, had a girlfriend. But actually, like, my first, like, proper date with a girl, like, it's a side of me I really want to explore. It sounds like we've both been through some crap with guys and want to explore dating girls. The agents wanted me to show my warm side, and I feel like I can really do that with Ellie. We're in the same boat. This has been, like, my third proper date with a girl. When do you think you, like, knew, like, you started fancying girls? 8th of September, 1997, Cooper School Disco, Bromley. After serious relationships, I think, well, fuck it, this isn't working out. You sort of get a bit of, like, um... I don't want to say it, but it's, like, dick vengeance. <laughs> Ain't that a posh name for an aggressive wank? <laughs> Literally. You're like, fuck you, you're like... <laughs> you go on a women's spree. It's just dumb for me. I think, yeah. I don't know. But I've slept with men, I've slept with women. And I said, to be honest, I've had so many failed relationships. I'm open to both sexes. I think a lot of people see it as, like, a whole... It's a sexual thing. If anything, it's empowering, I think. Yeah. Well, like, as soon as I met you, you've, like, really put me at ease and it feels, like, supernatural. Oh, <laughs> no, that's, that's so good. Equally put me at ease and it's just totally not... So you just, you know, it's a normal day, you know. So you're, like, pleasantly surprised? Yeah. <laughs> so pleasantly surprised that you're, like, you know, you, you can ride and... <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. feel like... I've really clicked with you, so on my part, I'd love to see you again. Yes, Megan! I would love to see you again. Really? I would love to. So you're on my ponies and... <laughs> God! Riding that pony. <laughs> and maybe feeding that pony? Too much?